Hello, gang. I am Evan Rankin, the uh, Chief Director of Coffee Production in Mr. Lin's Zero Period Physics class. And I am Matthew Abbott, the Chief Executive Officer of Flavortown. Let's get this ball rolling. Today, we are going to be talking about the physics of coffee. So if you direct your attention to right here, we're going to be talking about thermal energy and thermal dynamics, which is used by chemists, biologists, engineers, and most importantly, physicists. So Say it ain't so. This is the study of heat and heat transfer. So when it comes to brewing coffee, our three methods that we ourselves tested, and uh, the three, some of the most popular methods would be the pour over method, the drip method, drip, drop, drip, drop, and the French press. So if we're going to be discussing flavor town here, the question arises, of course, how the flavor is extracted from the grounds. Good question. So to know this, we need to understand a few things. Water solubility is the first one. So Water is a very polar molecule, which makes it a fantastic universal solvent. Polar. So, with, with that in mind, the water, especially when heated, the water po particles will be excited, which makes it even better. I'm excited. So, in a coffee bean, there are four major, major parts that will give you the flavor that we need. The first is acid. Now the acids are sucked out of the bean. Now these give you a very sour flavor. It's the first thing that comes out. The next, if we look over here, is oils and fats. Now these give the coffee the body and they make it very aromatic. Man, look at the body. The third is sugars. Which, sugars! Like he said, made it pretty sugary. And fourth and finally, we have plant fibers, which are very bitter because being vegan sucks. <laughs> so when you make coffee, the ideal flavor that you desire is a very sweet. It's the sweet nails. Ripe. Transparent. Complete acidity and a full finish. In order to achieve that, you need to have the coffee extract all four of these things from the particulate. And then we can achieve flavor town with Pida. <laughs> hey gang, and welcome back. This is the equations for the calculations of the heat of the water. The heat is very important because the heat helps extract the flavor from the particulates of the coffee. So in order to figure out how much heat we need and, and yada yada yada, we're going to have delta S, Q, and T. T is the temperature. Q is, I forgot what Q is. Heat. <laughs> Heat, excuse me. So to find Q, now we must... hold on, <laughs> Rankin. What does this little triangle mean? It means the change in S, which S is... Entropy. In order to find Q, which is clearly necessary to find the change in entropy, we must find mc delta t. Now delta t would be the change in temperature, c would be the specific heat, and m would be the mass of the water. And as you can see, we calculated this out. We found out that the mass of 8 ounces in our 8 ounce cup of coffee would be 29.57 grams. From there, we figured out that the change in temperature would be about 115 degrees Fahrenheit, or 319.36 degrees Kelvin. And we swizzled it all in and figured out that uh, our Q value would be 3.95 times 10 to the 6th. Wow, that's a lot of heat. <laughs> wow. So then from there, we have to divide the heat by the temperature. Okay. So we took 3.95 times 10 to the 6th, divided by our original temperature, our temp temperature initial, and got 355.732 Kelvin, 
When you divide those two out, you get 1.12 times 10 to the fifth for your entropy. Oh, you can snort this. I can't pour it without it just going on the counter. What if I... How do I do this? <laughs> now we're just gonna let that brew for a while. Taste test. That's delicious. You ready? That's a French press if I've ever seen one, which I haven't, so. French press method, taste test. again gang I hope you learned a lot on our journey here as we learned about physics of coffee I hope you learned 
which coffee should taste the best and why. And I hope you learn some uh, little bit of a background as to why the coffee does what it does and how heat works and how Flavortown is reached. Thank you. A special thank you to Matthew Abbott and Nicholas Pida. Hello, gang. Back once again here just to do a little wrap up of our video. It's the reasoning behind the coffee flavoring and why which coffee tastes best is um, for the French press, the reason why it tastes the worst is because the coffee grounds are the uh, least small they're bigger they're more coarse and uh, the drip is in the middle because it's a middle ground coffee and then um, the pour over is supposed to be the best because it has the finest grounds therefore the most flavor can get out of the particulates